My name is Philomena. I'm a data scientist here in Kenya. I remember when I was starting out my career, I used to spend most of my time behind the laptop and it got to a point where I felt like I was a bit overwhelmed. It was very monotonous and I felt like I was not thriving. Work-life balance means being able to not only flourish in one area of your life, the different areas of your life would be your career and also your personal life. And so it's just about finding the balance between the two. One thing that I love doing is dancing. It started just as a hobby, something I'll do with my friends, but now it's become something that's more routine and something that I really, really enjoy doing. I grew up in Nairobi and this is me with my mom on a Saturday morning at the farm. Growing up, my mom really had a strong interest in farming. She always said that it's something that she wanted to go into. And so what started out as just me helping her out in the farm quickly became something that I was very invested in, what we're planting, what we're growing. So one thing that I've actually learned about myself that I did not know about myself before is the fact that I'm an extrovert. <laughs> Putting myself out there in the various activities has really enabled me to rediscover myself. Things that have enabled me to even get over some of the fears that may have propped up while growing up. This has even helped me to rediscover some of the strength I never really knew existed before. My name is Becky Cook. I am a Nunaku Aboriginal woman. So the Nunaku people are part of the Kwandamuka community, which is from Stradbroke and Morton Islands, just off the east coast of Brisbane, Australia. While my primary focus is as a centre manager and coordinating things within the office in the centre, I also have the opportunity to work on research projects and I'm currently working with community on a project surrounding enhancing data literacy in the Indigenous community. The biggest impact is the potential to improve the wellbeing and socioeconomic outcomes for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples through the best practice use of data. The NADOC Week stands for Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Day Observance Committee. And this has developed into a week-long celebration and recognition of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander culture each July in Australia. Part of my role, I spent the day engaging with members of the community, having conversations about data and whether they would like to enhance their use of data and how they were using data in their everyday lives. The outcome of participating in this day was that we were able to consult with the community surrounding a proposed project that we had on enhancing data literacy. This meant that our project was informed by the community at those early stages of the research design. We were able to hear what the community wanted and also incorporate this into our work. It's also part of the ethics process. So my advice for women data scientists would be that you do belong here. I myself am not a traditional data scientist, meaning I'm not a statistician or a computer scientist, but I do feel I'm contributing in this area of data. So if you're passionate about what you're doing, you're going to be successful. My name is Amanda Melberg. When I joined Data IQ and I already saw the Empower group. Empower serves as a safe space for Data Ikers to discuss the challenges that women face in business and beyond and provides advocates to allow us to grow a sense of belonging for all women so that people can have the freedom to choose how they want to show up at Data IQ. What's been most exciting is we've really become like an actionable women's group. So in October 2021, in one of the Empowered Group meetings, I introduced what the WIDS organization was, hoping to recruit some other women to help in organizing the event the following year. Data IQ had already heard about WIDS. There's so many folks that are women in data science, and so I thought it was just a great pairing. This year, we have over 25 WIDS ambassadors across EMEA, America, and APJ. And so that was really exciting because we had the Empower Group to kind of talk about things, but then we had the WIDS regional events to kind of practice what we preach in a way um, and bring a lot of the cool stuff that we were talking about internally uh, to other members of the community. My advice would be to lean in to these communities that exist, such as the WIDS community, or bring the WIDS community to your company and kind of jumpstart that initiative and create that community that you potentially seek, because I think it provides the mentorship and sponsorship that we all need to truly like thrive in our careers.